Hi, Mike Riley here from Zilchworks, and today we're going to look at what's new with the latest version of Zilch Standard. As you can see, it's a much cleaner look and feel. The metallic background is no longer there, and the shadows are gone. I'll show you the uh, when you go into none, you can see that the shadows are gone. Go back to them. The font is also a little bit more modern and it's not bold. And there's a new minimum payment allowed option, which will be discussed in a different video. A nice feature that's been upgraded is the file management. Now you can open the window and it's resizable. It's no longer that tiny little window that's very restrictive. So let's load sample two. And look at the other features. We'll dive into the financial analysis and as you can see it's a much cleaner look and feel as well. The orange represents the minimum payment and the blue represents the constant payments. You can toggle between the months and the interest cost. And if you look at the debts they change instantaneously, so you can see the results a lot nicer. And the plus amount slider goes from zero up to 100, so you can play around with that. And the print preview is a lot more friendly. The analysis report doesn't go into full screen. And we've also added a print screen feature. Now let's have a look at the debt repayment plan portion. As you can see, it's a much cleaner look and feel. The orange represents the minimum payment plan and blue represents the Zilchworks payment plan. A pie chart in the middle gives you a nice visual of the savings you'll achieve by following the Zilch payment plan. You can also toggle between the interest cost and the length in months. And if you click on the reports, they use the same friendly preview screen. There's also that print screen function. Now I want to demonstrate the what if capabilities. They're still there. If you look at the underlying portions of these two screens, you'll see that there's a hand pointer. So let's check out the strategy. Here's where you can play what if on strategies. Quick elimination, custom arrangement. In the right hand side, you'll notice that there's a description of what each one does. Let's check out what happens with lowest balance. If you choose the lowest balance instead of APR, you'll notice that it'll take 38 months to pay off. So let's go back to annual percentage rate. And let's look at the pledge money. There's an alternate pledge money that you can try. Let's use alternate. Right now it's zero. And you can notice that it, the plan went from 37 months down to 57 months. Well, it, what happens if you want to use 200 on the pledge money instead of 100? Change the alternate. And it will take 28 months. Here's the savings you can realize. So let's put the pledge money back at zero. And you notice it's 57 months with no pledge money. You're still saving quite a bit of money. Now the debt free date. Let's say you want to be out of debt in 24 months instead of the 57 months. Just pick the 24 months. Hit OK. And there's your 24 month plan. The savings is tremendous. 
However, to achieve that, you're going to need $259 in pledge money. Well, let's say you want to be out of debt in 18 months instead of 24 months. Just dial this down to 18 months. Hit OK. And there you go. There's your 18 month plan with all the savings. In order to pull this off, you're going to need $414 in pledge money. Well, that about wraps it up. This is the new features and functions that you can see with Zilp Standard version 29.7. This is Mike Riley. Thanks for watching.